Technology is a really fun thing to play with. When you see a light go off, or when you see a motor turn, uh, or when you're operating with electronics, uh, you know, you really get excited about that kind of thing, especially when you can uh, cause some kind of interaction between people and, and technology, so it ends up being really, really fun. LifeLights is a really exciting uh, interactive installation in a public marketplace uh, in New Westminster. LifeLights allows a viewer to go up and uh, interact with um, a guardrail which has pads on, on it. And once they touch one of these pads, uh, we start to see a manifestation of light and sound throughout the space. So there's 128 uh, color changing uh, LED lights. Artificial light sim simulation, uh, which makes the lights change, uh, is based on the simple rules. So when somebody touches a pad, one of the lights will start changing a color. And then lights which are surrounding that one will change color depending on what color they are on. So if we have like a pink light, for instance, and all the ones around it are green, it will move to one of the other lights, also making it pink. Um, and so what we see is um, a, an emergent uh, nature of the lights happen over time. So we start pressing all the different pads and we start to see different colours start to uh, swirl through the space. I don't think that it's possible for artists to manifest creative ideas involving interactivity unless they know a little bit about technology. Before you can paint a painting, you have to learn how to use a paintbrush. It's very similar. We're building interactive creative electronic arts, so we need to know technology in order to make those things for sure. One of the, uh, you know, one of the tendencies is for people to think that, uh, you know, to be uh, an artist you need to be the starving artist. The idea about the, you know, the starving genius artist, that's not relevant anymore. That, that, that does not work in, in today's economy. Yeah. You can totally do both now. Um, and while that doesn't really define your career path, uh, it's quite surprising to see that a lot of the companies who are building either technology or doing creative things are happy to hire on someone who has experience in both uh, art and technology. You have to be creative about how you take your creative talents and bring it to the world. Uh, but once you've done something cool, cool sells. And what we're also seeing is um, scientific research organizations uh, have um, artists in residence programs as well. So uh, take pairing up a um, you know an artist with a, a team of researchers. Um, to you know, explore their, their data or their research and create some sort of artistic expression from that. Mm, definitely, definitely. Some of these major conferences which are transforming the technological landscape now consist of artists and engineers. And they're both going to the same place and hanging out. You know, you've got this grand idea, how it's going to feel, and then it manifests in a slightly different way. And all you can really keep, I think, at the end of the day is the essence of what you were trying to express. So in our case, the essence was this interactive experience where you feel immersed in this evolution of this piece coming to being as you touch it and as you experience it.